Well, first of all, uh, my guy on the ninth floor was sort of Kevin's kind of entry into what he's doing now and, and kind of just his personal journey. Uh, but also on his website, he also has a book uh, or, and I would assume it's a smaller book than the first one, but it talks about the science of what you're doing. And so that basically kind of works right into, right into yeah. what we're talking about. So talk to, talk a little bit about that book and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Yeah. So uh, it's basically the science behind energy work. Uh, is is the book, and it's really it's an ebook. It's I think it's maybe forty pages, um, and it's in part an excerpt of that section that you mentioned from my guy on the ninth floor, and then we expand and expound on it a little bit more. Uh, as far as you know, how can we look at our lives through the lens of quantum entanglement, through the lens of unified field theory, um, and it once we kind of peel back that first layer, it starts to really we really see how, how connected everything is from that standpoint. So if we pull all the way back, they're doing research now about uh, genetic mutation and uh, genetic mutations passing down generationally. This is something that's been you know, either thought of or at least conceptualized for probably 40, 50 years, give or take. But now they're doing, uh, I, and I think with empirical research, they're seeing up to three generations back where there are genetic markers of mutation or something going on at the genetic level that is encoded in the DNA and then it expresses itself as the, as the system grows with, with our, our younger generations, um, which is wonderful. I, I love that we're finally getting to this place of uh, understanding, recognition and reconciliation uh, really of, of all the different scientific pursuits and really bringing everything together to get a more holistic view of life. Um, in my experience, the genetic connection goes much further than three generations. Having that be a starting point is fantastic. So that's kind of the, uh, you know, oh, yeah, I understand things get passed down, behaviors. Um, and they've actually seen this uh, in, in lab studies with mice as well, where they have a mouse run a course in a maze. And if it's the wrong direction, they get a little buzz or a little shock or, or a negative uh, uh, reaction, a negative- um, Enforcement. Thank you, negative, negative mm -hmm. reinforcement. And then the, that one rat finds the correct path to the prize, to the treat. So they extract the mat, that rat once it's successfully navigated the maze, extracted from the maze. And then they go nine generations, no exposure to the maze nine generations from that original rat. So it's the great, 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 however many greats there are in between. And then that younger generation is placed in the maze. It runs it perfectly to the treat every single time without any error, without any default. All right, let's stop right there. So is that, because everything is energy. Mm -hmm. DNA is energy. Is that what is, you are tweaking that energy in that, the progenitor of that line and that that is what that that example of dna at that time is what gets passed on that is unbelievable yeah so so our systems and um i know this has been quantified with with humans and i'm i'm extrapolating to to animals as well but our systems our our, our physical mind body systems are exponentially powerful up to 20 million bits per second from a processing standpoint. And so if we, if one, if we didn't have this amazingly powerful system that we were living life through, and that system didn't have certain governors on it, certain constrictions to it, it would be really hard to function in life.